wiring overview. So um, we're going to start with the sensors. Oh, let's start with all the, the wires that need to be wired up. And the open source laser, so of course. Um, the drive port is here, and all the wiring happens with uh, Ethernet patch cords. So uh, we have three meter ones in the BOM. Now that they're shielded. And they're shielded. Um, the metal is shielding. Mm -hmm. And we. Um, the shielding is important in this case, correct? Yes, yes. Uh, just uh, you know, RF shielding from various noise. From various noise. Um, so we use them because the shielding is built in, and you don't have to assemble any blocks. So you just cut them to length. Um, for this one, it's uh, one point three meters. Mm -hmm. um, so let me get that straight. It's very convenient to do this because it's it's a well accepted connection. Right, you can buy them process. in pretty much any electronic store or or and cheaply online. To connect to the board. Snap in and out, and you're done. No messy wires, no screw downs. This is very convenient, and that's the reason for using that, right? Yes, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. They're cheap and convenient. And not only that, the whole point is that we're going to wire up both the end stops and the, the stepper motors through these. Exactly. Point yeah. being that two of the internal wires here, each of them carrying 1.5 amps, when we use two of them, you have enough for a 3 amp stepper motor. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have enough. We can then uh, carry enough current for the step need up to 2 amps for the bigger motor. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're good there. Mm -hmm. So continuing on the board, so this is the connection to the outside power and that's through, okay. what's this connector called? Uh, I think, uh, it's a standard connector C14, like you see in the... I think it's called. Mm -hmm. And that goes to power the main, the board. And this outlet here goes to the laser. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and underneath you see um, how uh, the, the DC power supplies are connected to the board. The two, one is 24 volts, which power the stepper drivers, and one is 5 volts, which power most of the logic of the board. Right. So the step one here for connections was outside of the cable, which we did that before in a, in a side window. We've got the Ethernet cable, and we drilled out six holes through the, the glazing. Six millimeters. Six millimeter holes. And the first wire goes to the end stop. Magnetic lead switch right here. And this is how we connect it. So, Stefan, continue. Okay. So, um, the way we run them is in the slot. So eventually they're going to be all pressed into the, into the T-slot. We we'll use some hot glue uh, to hold them down every 20 centimeters or approximately a foot. Um, the way you connect them, um, make sure you slide on the uh, shrink wrap. And this is actually part of the BOM, so you have all the sizes. Um, mm -hmm. So we use uh, one of the biggest one and I think this one. Uh, small leads and uh, all the switches are wired the same. We use these two colors it's uh, white, orange, white, green is one side, and orange and green is the other side. And you connect them to the switch, and it doesn't matter how you connect them. Polar doesn't matter, so it's, it's orange, green, and orange, white, orange, green. Sorry, orange, white, <laughs> green, white. Right. Mm hmm. So I'm gonna sort this up and then. So that's the first connection. First connection is that. Great. Mm 